Yeah. He drastically overpaid for, for Jed. Definitely. Um, I, I thought it was an overpay just because you brought him in to be a utility guy. It was known <laughs> right. from the beginning. So to pay a guy $10 million when you're trying to find that batch for him, uh, that's, a, that's a gross overpay right, right. there. Yeah. Um, and lastly, I, again, if we get to that point, right, I do think the Mets could be a threat just because of that pitching. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, do you think we will catch that second wild card or do you think we, we enjoyed our high point of the season and we'll probably finish somewhere around 78 wins? The fan in me wants to say yes. But I just feel like the Brewers, the Phillies, the Cubs, and the Cardinals, I feel like those four teams are just going to find a way to get that second spot. And what I've been trying to tell Will, <laughs> no. the only reason why we're so close is because the National League stinks. True. There are like three, True. four teams that we thought were going to be really, really good. Right. And they're not, they're like, okay. Borderline, yeah. Right. So that's the only reason why we're even... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, really Still, close. The Mets, so. the Mets can mess a lot of things up once the end of the month comes around. Remember, this team still has to go up against the, the Braves, the, the Dodgers, Dodgers again. the Cubs. Yeah. The Cubs yeah, are coming into all, town. Yeah. The Dodgers are coming into town. Yeah. You know, listen, you're only two and a half games out. Yes, the Mets, the Mets have went up against some subpar competition. And I was in Pittsburgh the night that they came, came back on that Saturday night at PNC Park, and I was at the Nationals game two weeks afterward at City Field. So coming from my point with the, with the Mets right now, all, you, all, all the Mets fans right now, you got to believe. You can't, the season's not over we yet. We've been told to believe for 20 years. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and, but it doesn't matter. That's what he doesn't get. We've been told to believe for 20 years. No, no, I, I agree. Years. It doesn't I agree. matter. I, I'm just, I'm fearful. I guess it's not over until it's over. I'm, I'm, I'm just very fearful of this bullpen. This bullpen has Extremely. been very bad. Extremely. And I would hate for us to have this epic second half run and find ourselves in a one-game playoff and then we, we're relying on Edwin Diaz to come out of the bullpen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, like that. Like, and, and that's why, like I, I said to, you know, when we had the conversation before yeah. about Mickey Calloway and people were down on Mickey. And I felt like, listen, his hands are really tied. Mm -hmm. He's got to play the guys that are on the roster. Like, mm -hmm. what is he, like, right now he's trying out Lugo for two inning saves almost every other night. Which is crazy. Right, which is, <laughs> is crazy. Like, he, he has no one else he can trust. And at, at some point, one of these guys in the bullpen is either going to put us over the top or it's gonna, it's gonna be the, the collapse of the season. One or the other. I don't think it, it falls anywhere in between. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? Realfansrealtalk.com. Where Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom.